Today I'm going to be talking about the popular YouTuber known as Dream and how he got exposed for cheating on his speedruns. I mean, we all know Dream. He makes Minecraft YouTube videos and speedruns Minecraft as well. And Dream and his group of friends, including George Not Found, Sapnap, and many more, overall just bring joy to this website. So you're probably wondering, Xe, why is Dream being exposed? So yeah, I'm going to be going in depth and finding out just why people think he's cheating on his speedruns. So yeah, kick back, relax, get some popcorn, and let's get straight into it. What's up guys, it's your boy XE, welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing quite well myself. So the other day I was browsing around YouTube and I stumbled across a video by the channel known as GeoSquare. And in this video, GeoSquare actually analyzes Dream's speedruns and determines whether he's cheating or not. So I'm sure we all know who Dream is by now. I believe right now he has over 13 million subscribers on YouTube. And if you've never actually watched Dream, then you've probably seen him on your recommended or suggested at least once. That's because his videos actually do extremely well on YouTube. But that's all besides the point. On top of Dream making these challenge videos on Minecraft, he actually speedruns Minecraft as well, which explains why he's so good at the game. And what GeoSquare was getting at in his video is that Dream somehow changes the coding or changes something in order to give him better luck in his speedrun. He believes that the chance of emeralds dropping from trading in the nether has been tampered with, and along with the drop chance of blaze rods. He does this by comparing Illumina and other speedrunners odds to Dream's odds. So after GeoSquare and his team went and examined Illumina's runs, they came to the conclusion that Illumina got 20 ender pearls out of 323 trades. Now that's pretty lucky, don't get me wrong. It comes out to a 0.09% chance of happening, but it is very much so doable. But here's the thing about Dream, he got a whopping 42 ender pearls out of 263 trades. Now from looking at just those numbers, you're probably like, Xe, those are not much different. But when you do the math, it actually comes out to a 0.0000000000565% chance of happening, or just one in 177 billion chances of happening. Now I didn't make this video to just summarize GeoSquare's video, so you should go and check out his video, I'll leave a link in the description. It goes over much, much more than just the emeralds that we covered, but I didn't want to just completely take everything from his video, so I suggest you go watch him. After this video, of course. So after all this, the speedrunning mod team actually deemed his runs illegitimate. And Dream? He, he wasn't too happy about this. You know, I guess I could understand where he's coming from because the amount of time that actually goes into speedrunning is insane. And that's if his runs are legitimate. If they aren't legitimate, then he probably just spent a few hours at most. Now, after GeoSquare's video came out, Dream actually went on Twitter and gave his thoughts on a tweet. Now, in the comments of this tweet, there are two different people. People who support Dream, people who don't support Dream. Plain and simple. Now, this is what Dream said in the tweet. And I quote, Thank you for the totally unbiased two-month, 29-page investigation into whether a 16th place run had two good luck. And that was made into a clickbait YouTube video by a head moderator. So, as I said earlier, I can totally understand why Dream would be pissed off in this situation. If his runs were legit, then the amount of time that goes into speedrunning is actually insane for him. And if his runs weren't legitimate, he's still a very good Minecraft player, hence the Minecraft manhunt challenges. But the numbers are just so hard to go against. So I know this is completely off topic, but over 100 billion people have lived on this earth, or have been estimated to live on this earth since humans have became a thing. This will come into play in just a sec. If each and every one of them were to do a Minecraft speedrun, it would still come out to be about a 0.01 chance of happening, and to only one of those human beings. So don't get me wrong, I like like Dream, his content is enjoyable, but the numbers are just too hard to go against. But this brings me to another topic, why does it matter? Of course, when it comes to official speedrunning, it matters because, well, it's official. If he faked a speedrun that's actually ranked on a speedrunning website, then that's just messed up. But as for his YouTube, I don't really care if he cheated. His manhunt videos are still entertaining either way, and those aren't ranked in any way. So it is a problem when he's cheating on the ranked speedrunning sites. But other than that, it's not really a problem because manhunt videos and all of his other videos are still entertaining. So yeah, that's all I really have to say today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like and check out my other socials in the description. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Thank you all for watching. Peace.